and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. We're into uh, day number two of the new year. Um, yes. Dave is... Day number uh, three, actually. Well, yeah, but Dave... Day number two, two on the show, yeah. That's right. So we had Monday off. Mm-hmm. Whatever New Year's Day was. I don't remember. Yeah. But um, Dave is uh, taking a break from flicking nickels at the strippers down in Caledonia. Okay. To join us what? for okay. a... Uh, what? First of all, there are no strippers in Caledonia. Oh. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Nichols? In, in Nichols? Where, what are we in the 1800s? I don't know. You're, you're frugal. You like to save a buck. How dare you? I'm just saying, you know, you, you're, you, you're, you're penny wise. And I, whereas, you know, others are not. They're, they're a little more liberal. Well, others, others, others have a, mm-hmm. a, a higher net income. When I say others, I mean literally everybody. I get the feeling. So there's that. I, I, Totally can empathize completely 100%. Oh, it's all good. There you go. So last night I'm watching, uh, you know, if if I had my druthers about the situation, there's my big word for the day, druthers. The druthers, okay. Yep. Um, I would revamp the way history is taught everywhere. Um, okay. I, I was watching a show last night on PBS, and I'm not the guy's biggest fan, um, but he's he's good. Uh, is it um, is it Henry Gates or Henry Louis Gates or you know who I'm talking oh, about? I, yeah, the guy, uh, the guy with three names. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a narrator. He's a presenter. He's very intelligent. Mm-hmm. He's I think he had the he was the guy that had the beer with Obama. It, or I think you're right. Yeah, I mean, you remember who I can't I yeah. can never remember his name, but he's yeah. he's a good yeah. presenter. Okay. Um, he went uh on a tour of Africa because you know I like the um. I like the prehistory history. Yeah. Okay. I like Mesopotamia. I like mm-hmm. Ur. I like, you know, everything pre-Egypt. Everything that's, okay. you know, because humans all go, well, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Egypt, they, they know how to build these pyramids. No, they didn't. There was, there right. was more civilization. Right. More yeah, advanced right, civilizations yeah. than we'll ever know about. Well, as they keep digging and keep finding things in China and Africa in the Fertile Crescent and, and in these countries that we'll never, ever hear anything historical about, they're finding things back. They found human influence 70,000 years ago on some art that they dug up in Africa. I mean, we know nothing of history of, of yeah. the human species. And I think mm-hmm. if we were to go back and maybe start reteaching some of that stuff early on, instead of what we get now well it was never when you're when you're talking about that time period at least i remember back back in school you didn't spend a lot of time because the problem with spending a lot of time on that is you don't really know because there's so much of it is lost to but they're the finding dark more ages and they're finding more of it yeah but okay what does that do like it, it, I think it's more important. I, I I agree that that needs to be taught. Yep. But I think more recent, more not recent, but more like 18th, 19th century to now needs to be taught as right. opposed to, a, 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 you know, a time we do know about as compared to a time that is really kind of, we don't have really any records of where it's all the, the it's all semi-educated there, guesswork. and they just have to be found you know those those cuneiform tablets that okay um there's so many of them they don't even know where to start but we also don't know what time like when, when you're talking about time frames you can carbon when date this that all stuff. started but you don't know precise like you, you're still you still could be off by a hundred thousand years I mean, you, we we could be way, 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 way off. On a I, lot I of would those. recommend looking up uh, radio carbon dating when you get when we get done because it's no, not I know, that I don't mean, I'm not talking about that. I, I, I'm talking about just in general. Like we don't know a lot about what we don't. We, know. What we know is about the last ten thousand years, yeah, pre post ice age, and yeah. that's where this idea of human amnesia comes in. And I think. Mm-hmm. People like Graham Parker and, or is that, was that his last Graham name? Graham Hancock. Graham Hancock. Graham Parker yeah, was, was a singer, I, That's yeah. another name I always get wrong. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, th- they're going through and showing you these things now. Mm-hmm. You know, Graham yeah. Hancock, the, the last one of that um, uh, alien, um, 
Alien. I have whatever was on Netflix. Right. Um, the last one, he was like, "Yeah, three thousand people lived underground here during." Yeah, it's. It, yeah, I heard, yeah, he was he was talking about that on Rogan not too long ago. So yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's crazy. Right. It's, it's well, I mean it's I, on the Netflix thing now. that that um, God, what was it called? Alien um, or ancient? It's, oh, it's, it's but, not ancient aliens, but it's no, something. But it's something that like vein. that. Um, yeah. but anyway, yeah, he takes you right down there, and mm-hmm. these things were connected for 10, 15 miles underground. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's crazy. You don't know anything, man. It drives me nuts. It's like my old history teacher used to say, doesn't of put course. any more bread on your table. It is nice. It's interesting to know. All right. Well, thank you, Dave. All right. Ready Hurry, to do you got to go flick some nickels. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, if you're feeling bad about your finances, you're in good company. The national debt has hit another ignominious record there's your fancy word for i don't even know what that ignominious. word means ignominious ignominious, ignominious. I, used it, I used it in the correct context Igno, ignominious ignominious ig, another ig, ignominious record i gotta look that anyway, up anyway it's All right, go ahead. up to 34 trillion dollars the congressional budget office's 2020 projection didn't have the debt reaching that high until 2029 since the government spends money like a drunk 18 year old with his first credit card, we achieved that by, you know, overachieving five years early. So, way to go. We the definition money, of ignominious deserving or causing disgrace or shame. There you go. Public disgrace or shame. There you go. All right. That fits. Anyway, so, you know, you may be in debt, but you're not as much in debt as we all are collectively. There you have it. Uh, <laughs> moving on you can use your own cup at starbucks starting today the overpriced coffee chain is adding the reusable cup option to drive through an app order starbucks will not accept cups over 40 ounces they say this is all an effort to reduce waste i mean i guess it's cool i don't really care i don't go to starbucks so you imagine? unless they start out ad- unless they start advertising oh then, then you go to starbucks I will not only well or, or I'll pretend that I went and I will talk about the virtues of Starbucks. Okay. Because at the end of the day, did you see what I scored I'm over the holidays? Player. Did you what see what I that? scored over the holidays? I did not. Dude. I so Although I started that off looks like a new t-shirt. No, that's Is that a, cult. a new t-shirt. Okay. That's, that's your old cult, cult t-shirt? Yeah, okay. I'll have to tell you the cult story sometime. Okay. It may have involved the devil's lettuce when we were kids. Uh, of course. <laughs> Woo! There, well, there could have been know, an airport you're... involved too. <laughs> as long as the pilot wasn't involved, you're fine. No, no, no. Okay. Oh my God, I thought I was going okay. to jail that night. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, anyway, so um, what were we talking? About? Oh, it's Starbucks coffee, yeah. right? I'm sitting there, and so it starts off with I get sick of coffee because it's giving me this mm-hmm. this aftertaste. Mm-hmm. So I start off on an adventure to find a new coffee that doesn't give the aftertaste. Try this, try that, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I went online and I did a search. And on Amazon, you can buy Waffle House coffee, but it's remarkably marked up. Okay. Like, how much are you talking? Uh, A lot. 20 bucks for um, four bags, four or five bags. And that makes how many cups of coffee? Well, that's the thing um it's a it's really a pretty good value but yeah, when you it's still yeah. marked up if you go to the guy selling it on amazon rebay because they're they're doing what i could do now and i'm thinking about it. right but i went to the waffle house site mm-hmm. dude i bought a hundred packages of it for two hundred dollars and these each each packet makes about three pots of coffee so now oh, good for you Look i'm drinking you. the best coffee on earth waffle house coffee waffle house mm-hmm. coffee and um, you know what? I don't have to worry about what kind of cup. I don't have to worry about drive through. You you're I don't all have to good. Worry about Starbucks. I don't have to worry about whatever. So, a lot mm. of times, you know, people people like the experience of going to get coffee. As they like to be waited on. They like to be waited on. There's we have this. This is this is 
This is just a human thing. It's a spoil. We like to be waited on. We like to feel like we're being spoiled a little bit. We like to feel like we're going somewhere and doing something, even if it's nothing. Right. Even if it's completely innocuous and it and doesn't matter. And Starbucks is not selling coffee. They are selling no, an selling experience. Some, yeah. That's what they're selling. They are right. selling you an they're indulgence. They're selling you atmosphere. An, an indulgence. indulgence with atmosphere. That's what they're there selling. There you go. That's right. Finally, you're right today. Like, you, you look, you look yeah, grumpy. I'm good. I'm yeah. not too grumpy. You just you, you see. In fact, I'm right? the opposite. No. In fact, I'm the exact opposite. I was thinking about this as I was uh, driving in this morning. You were. And I'm like, yeah, it's like you know, the, the the idea of uh, of having what's the word I'm looking for, and I, I, I gratitude. Oh, wonderful. Being gracious, under you know, really understanding that we all have it pretty pretty good. Even in the face, even when 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 something goes bad or when something goes wrong, you is something going bad. It's are really good. No, is that's the thing is it hasn't. Is no, Dave, I don't have any issues. Is there something you me. need to tell me? I about? dude, I am, I am, I don't want to say I'm issue free because we all know I'm kind of fraught with some of those. <laughs> but uh I like to call them uh, eccentric idiosyncrasies, which may be a redundancy there, but I I I, I don't know. Now stop hitting me with these um, big words. I'm sorry, dude. That's like four of them I've used today. I know. Four like 75 cent words. You add them all up. They that's add like up to a number I can't even bucks. figure because that's, that's a, a lot. lot. Yeah. That's 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 way up there. Anyway, no, 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 I'm good. All right, good. You, you misread you misread the situation. Right. You misread things occasionally, but that's Once okay. In a while. Generally I'm pretty perceptive. Yeah, yeah, you do have, yes. I would say that. In general, in this particular case, though, you're uh would it be 90 degrees? No, you're 180 degrees off, okay. not 360 degrees, because that would put us right back to where we are. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm starting to ramble. Let's get on to the last story. Lake Superior State University has released its list of the so-called banished words for 2024. The satirical list highlights words that were were or are misused or overused or they lost their meaning. Some of those words include hack, impact, at the end of the day, Riz, which is just a dumbass Gen Z word, slay and side hustle. So I, I think side hustle is still accurate because everybody is doing that. Although I think what has happened is side hustle has just become part of your just your regular work. Right. It's not a I've side never, hustle. I've never it's heard just the term Riz. What does that mean? Really? Never. Uh, I don't. You know what? I don't know. I'd have to ask one of my younger coworkers. Yeah. And I don't care. Not, and I don't care enough to ask. Isn't that awkward? People. When they you get hard. to the age at work where you have to go up to somebody and ask what the meaning of it. I I well, literally have never heard that. And if I had to walk up to somebody and go, "Oh, excuse me, can you tell me what Riz means?" Is it R I Z? It's a made up. It's a made up word. No, it's R I Z Z. R I Z Z. That's the other thing. The younger generation can't spell for shit. So they, when they make up words, they, they're they probably ah. spelling words that don't exist wrong. Well, let me tell you something. This this will make you feel good. And you have this. Okay, go ahead. You, you ready? Let's, this is let's... something you possess. This Again, is going to make is, you feel this good. This is a vanished word. This is a vanished word, though. We're not using a this A style, because... charm, or attractiveness. The ability to track romantic or a sexual partner. Dave Cackley, you've got, got Riz. Riz. I don't want to. I don't want to brag or nothing. I know, I know, and you should. That's not who I am. That's not how I was raised. You know, modesty you, is the best policy. You got Riz. Which is an almost I got gone. machismo. I'm sorry, dude. After your after your Taylor Swift debacle yesterday, that machismo went right out the window. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. That's it. Let me, tell, wait, let me ask you but, something. Let me ask you. Go something, ahead. Realistically. Yes. We each have a hundred bucks. Yes. We can buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. Again, this hundred bucks was given to me. Of it course, doesn't come out of my own pocket well, because I do not give buy a hundred bucks. I would. I don't love, buy concert I, tickets. If I, if I see I you today, I'm just going to hand concert. you a hundred bucks because mm -hmm. that's the way life ought to be. Yes. Right. Honestly. Yes. You take your ticket and buy a football ticket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take mine over over and go to Taylor Swift. Think about I, the crowds. Oh, you, you, uh, okay, the crowds are all teenage girls and moms, and okay, and and, and no. a, maybe a couple of hot grandmas. No, See, no, no, that's where you're wrong. No, you're gonna no. go around a bunch of drunk, sweaty Again. guys. Again, hey, 
When you're ready. Again. No. Do, do, okay. Really? Oh, my God. Just sitting. <laughs> okay. The insinuation here, in case you are really dim, is that my sexual orientation is called into question. When you're ready to take as, your riz to the football, football game. <laughs> over going to a football game, over going to a Taylor Swift show as a 51-year-old man. Holy balls, dude. <laughs> Which I, I, I'm not sure about yours anymore. That's right. Oh, God. Dave's Riz Good at the Lord. football game. He's yeah. going to go up. Sprinkle hey. Riz all over the place. <laughs> oh. Sports. Man, is that, are you turning red? No, I've, I've oh. actually, I went tanning a week ago. So I'm a little, yeah. You know, Just making sure. I still got, I still got, I still got the uh, semi uh, healthy glow. All right. Sports, the wings beat. Is this San sports Jose. with Riz? Jesus. Um, no, it doesn't have Riz. It doesn't have Riz. I have that evidently, even though I didn't know what the hell it was. Now you do. Uh, I'm here to serve. And you, yeah, yeah. And uh, Mr. Taylor Swift fan pretends that that's evidence of his machismo. Because you want to see if a, I was the, a, if moder- I was there, a, a moderately. A I'm moderately just saying, if I was there, I got a feeling. That they'd be going, ooh, your head's bald. Can we rub that? And I'm like, oh, oh God. Hey. Jesus. Wings over San Jose, 5-3. to three. Michigan, a four-and-a-half-point favorite next Monday's national you hear championship that? game against Washington. I will not. I mean, I'm so glad. I was so close to putting money on Alabama and the Alabama oh my Michigan God. game. I'm glad I didn't do that. I will yep. not put money on this. I will be rooting my heart out for the Huskies. Uh, that's going to be a great football game, though. That I will not. I will watch every second of that game, unless okay. uh, unless. Uh, it's a Monday night uh, game. Like you got to go to work. Yeah, doesn't matter, dude. I'll take a nap. I uh, priorities, right. man. I'm priorities. Checking. Lions three point favorite over Minnesota. Don't really know if this game means a whole lot. They're kind of locked into the three seed unless they win and the Cowboys somehow manage to lose to Washington. Uh, then you'd get the two seed. So. It's kind of up in the air, but if you're Detroit, you might want to, as you shake your head again, because we need dude, that. You lost. Yes, you need this. Everybody, you're the only one who doesn't care. You're literally the only one. And again, I've got a certain amount of respect for this as somebody who doesn't care about Taylor Swift. Right. So, uh, but I'm a man who doesn't care about you're Taylor a Swift. You're, you're a man. You're a man's man. You're a man. You're a man who doesn't care about the Detroit Lions as a resident of the state of Michigan. That the three I seed, the four seed, hysterical. or maybe two. But if That's this guy loses okay. and that one loses, and okay, the other guy again. gets his mail delivered on Thursday, um, okay. we might have this. All right, it wasn't even close to that. This from the guy who doesn't understand a kickoff. Okay, I'm. I'm I don't know. I don't know why they have to stand. So, why do they have to stand so close and run backwards? I don't know. It's like so confusing to me. I'm so confused. Oh, getting into your skin is fun. That's sweaty and gross. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Had a little cough there. You almost heard the whole thing, didn't you? Oh, that would have been awful. All it? right, it's Christmas. We're still working on last year's Jeopardy calendar because of uh, you know any. Uh, last night I ordered an extension cord, and it's here by four fifteen this morning. Mm-hmm. A Jeopardy calendar oh. can't show up till January eighth. No. I don't get that. Well, you know. All right. Is it's it Christmas. going through the U.S. mail? Is it going through the U.S. mail? No, it's your Amazon. Oh, whoa! That's Holy what I'm cow. saying. Amazon's hiring former postal employees. Are they really? All right, let's go. Well, I don't know. I'm just guessing. All right. Jesus. His heart is two sizes too small. That's why he sets out at night to ruin Christmas in Whoville. Who is the Grinch? Wow. Look at you. God. 48. 800. Okay. There you See, go. I told you this was going to be an easy week. I could blow a, I could blow a $1,000 question and still be under 50K. You're, you're doing amazing. You're doing great. Pump, 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 pump. Mm. That's got ribs. There you go. Look at you. Go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See you back here tomorrow. See ya! Welcome back, Muskegon, and Happy New Year. Things look to be a lot more winter-like over the next several days, especially next week. So let's take a look at your forecast, brought to you by Trendy Health. Starting out with your weather headlines, we will have some snow showers to contend with for today, but we'll likely see less than an inch of snow out of that, as we will have periods of snow showers throughout the day. 
and then we will be cooler more seasonable over the next several days with temperatures generally in the 30s mid 30s usually and then the storm system next week definitely needs to be watched for next tuesday the 9th so this is what the snow shower activity will look like today this is 4 p.m expect some snow showers especially hugging the lake shore during the afternoon hours but it will begin during the morning hours and continue throughout the day on and off it won't be snowing all day it'll just come through in waves of snow shower activity likely bringing us less than an inch of snow though temperature wise we'll have readings in the mid 30s so a little bit warmer than it usually is this time of year but a lot cooler than what we have been seeing recently with temperatures usually in the 40s and 50s the past couple of weeks so for your wednesday expect a high of 36 with some periods of snow showers it won't be snowing all day nor will the snow be all that heavy and accumulate that much we'll likely see less than an inch of snow like i said and that will continue into the evening hours before dying down overnight with a low of 25. And then our attention turns to next Tuesday, the 9th, as a storm system will be moving out of the Great Plains, picking up Gulf of Mexico moisture and moving into the Great Lakes region. It all depends on where exactly this thing tracks, though, because that could either may mean rain for Muskegon or a wintry mix with that first track moving over Lake Michigan. The more likely track, as of now it looks like, will be the track from Missouri through Detroit, and that would bring us heavy snow, and that looks to be the more likely scenario as of now at least. It's still a week out, so things could definitely change. And then another storm track would bring us just mostly cloudy skies as it drifts off to the east. But as of now, this thing will definitely need to be tracked at least. And the most likely scenario as of now definitely has us tracking through Indiana, which would bring at least someone in West Michigan, probably also us in Muskegon, some decent amount of snow. And you can see that in our seven day forecast with next Tuesday having a chance of snow at least with that possible storm system. And the other two days having snow will be today with the snow showers like I mentioned. And then Saturday night going into Sunday, some light snow is also possible. But in general, it looks like a pretty cloudy stretch, which is pretty typical for this time of year with temperatures generally in the mid 30s. And that's your Wednesday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon channel. And I'm Cold Woods Weather and have a wonderful week.